We're beating the game tonight. No matter what. Apparently, we're like 80-ish percent of the way done. Some people said 85. Some people said 90. I do not remember how this game ends. <laughs> <clears throat> Hello? <laughs> you feel that breeze, huh? I tell you, on a day like this, I just sit on my porch, pick away my six string. You know, once we're done with this whole thing, I'm gonna teach you how to play guitar. Yeah, I reckon you'd really like that. What do you say, huh? Ellie, I'm talking to you. Huh? Oh, yeah, sure, that sounds great. Hmm. I know. Joel does feel bad. She went through so much shit and he couldn't do anything because he got impaled. And was dealing with this impaled infection. Alright, so we are in Salt Lake City, Utah. Wow. Oh. Okay, goodies. 30 supplements, okay. Dead bodies. God. Stinky. What's this? Oh, like their family? Flip. Forgive us. Why? Is that them? Oh, that might be three. Yeah, that might be three. I see like little kid. That might be like family. Sad. His tone is so vulnerable now. Yeah, it is. I definitely, as you can totally tell the change in his voice. Mm. I dreamt about flying the other night. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Go on, tell me about it. So, I'm on this big plane full of people, and everyone is screaming and yelling because the plane's going down. So I walk to the cockpit, open the door, but there's no pilot. I try to use the controls, but I obviously have no clue how to fly a plane. And right before we crash... I wake up. I've never been on a plane. Isn't that weird? Well, you know, dreams are weird. <sighs> yeah, Andy, that's not good. Um, yeah, please take care of yourself. Go get some rest. You saw pictures of oh of Alfred? Yes, he's very sweet. He's a good dog. Does anything happen if I run up to that gate? No. Okay. I know, Dizzy, we got that the entire time we were at the college, too. I mean, maybe you even saw that, but, like, the college was surrounded by mountains as well. It was really pretty. Wow. Cool, 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 cool. Nice, nice. Beautiful vines. Mm. 
Hi, Em. Hello. Another city, another abandoned quarantine zone. Hmm. St. Mary's Hospital. That's where they said they were held up, right? Or like they moved to was the St. Mary's Hospital or am I silly and I forgot? Andy, I hope you feel better. Finally able to catch a stream for a bit tonight. I also just beat this game again as well. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you. I'm excited to, to complete it. I'm excited to see how it ends. Can I climb over these? There's that hospital the Firefly mentioned. Oh, it was. Okay, that's what I thought. I mean, it's very obviously written out and, and viewable, so. Made sense. Oh, the draft scene we haven't seen yet. Oh. Okay, that is one thing I have seen. Oh, so I think we meet another person then. Because I think there was another person for that. I don't remember who that is. Giraffe. Giraffe. Maybe we cut through here. What do you want me to say? Graph? Draft? <laughs> what? <gasps> I almost... Wait. Stop it. Bryce. Is that Bryce Canyon? I've been to Bryce Canyon. Bryce Canyon is in Utah. Giraffe? Giraffe? Giraffe. Giraffe. <laughs> I'm going to the zoo to see the giraffes. Can I go? No. Hold on. Before we just go to this city, I want to make sure there's nothing out here. Because I noticed this was a dead end. Giraffe is not a word anymore. I know now it's that thing where we're saying it too much and then our minds are like, what is this even? You know? <laughs> All words are fake and made up. Yeah, Alex. Mm -mm. Everything all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Yeah, you just kind of seem extra quiet today. Oh, sorry. No, it's not. It's fine. Poor girl. We probably don't get. You don't get that line of dialogue unless you take your time in here, right? Unless she says that later. Here's the goodies. <gasps> Lore. Okay, I'm going to see if I can read this. Okay, Lucia. We made it to the quarantine zone. I wanted to call you, but all of the phone lines are down in the city. They told us they can deliver letters between the different zones. Although it will probably take a week or two to reach you. We're in, a good, sp we're in good spirits. Hannah talks about you a lot. She really misses you. I'm surprised at the calmness and maturity she's shown throughout this craziness. I feel like I've been the emotional one. I find that she's comforting me most of the time. We've raised her well. I hope all is well on your side of the country. And I really hope to hear your voice soon. Love, Graham. Lucy and Graham. That's really sweet. <laughs> We didn't have a clue back then. Mm. 
Sad. I pronounce... I'll pronounce gif like jif. The second graphic is pronounced like traffic. Traffic park. Tickets. Hi, can I get a... Joffrey Draft? Is that the Toy Story guy? Utah. Utah, Utah. Well, we could use that ladder. Mm hmm. Oh, goodies. Nut. Anything in here? No. All right, we have scoured. When I saw that picture of the Toys R Us drive with a fucking suitcase, I cried. My battery's low. Ugh. It's because I don't freaking charge it enough when I use it. I charge it for like 20 minutes and I'm like, that's enough juice. And then I need to just leave it on the charger at night. The Toy Story guy? Is that what I said? So is that what I said? I meant Toys R Us. Did I say Toy Story guy? Oops. Cacti, happy 25. I didn't even catch that. Well, obviously. That's funny. Cacti, thank you for the 25 months. I thought Toys R Or I heard Toys R Us was coming back. What the f Um... In Canada? Or am I goofy? I don't know. Oh, we go this Here way. We go. Ellie. Ellie. What? The ladder. Come on. Right. Oh, poor thing. <laughs> Damn, that's gonna be such an intense scene for like Bella to act out. I wonder if they'll do that. I mean, it's a very important scene, like story wise, but. If they're trying to oh stay God. to the story. Whoa. What is it? Ellie! Ellie! Oh, is it what I think it is? <sighs> yeah, it's because certain story beats are like so she prominent to the relationship. What is it? Hold on, I'll be there in a sec. Yeah, it's the music. I remember this scene. This scene's so good. The music's so cute. This scene is so cute. All right, we go. What the hell is that? That's cool. You can't really see it yet, but they suggested in the poster. Are you kidding me? Mm -mm -mm. Man, she really likes the city, huh? <laughs>
Baby Jiraiya! Baby! Slow down, kiddo. <laughs> Come on. Hurry up, come on, come on, come on. You're so cute. Oh, I love this song. They could kill it. It's good meat. I wouldn't do it. Well, if they're killing deer, they could kill a giraffe. That would feed them for a long time. I'm being, I'm being serious. But they're beautiful. Do we not go up this way? Is this where Ellie ran? Oh, I missed it. Did she go up the stairs? Yes. They're skinny as hell. They have no meat on them. Their whole torso looks pretty meaty. Ellie's emotional healing starts. I know. I wonder if you sit here for like 30 minutes. Do they just all hang out here? I'm not going to do that. But, you know. Because they're all moving. Do they all just stop? Does, has anybody ever tried? I imagine they prepared for that. I know. I also really like the music that plays in this scene. Like it's so so nice. taking a visual clip. I'm taking a visual memory. It's pretty. The music is so good. It's so simple, but so pretty. It's like eerie, yet hopeful. Playing as Ellie now? I I think we're in control of Ellie now. Oh no! Oh fuck! I thought we were for a sec. It made it look like it made. Did it, you see what I mean though? It kind of looked like she was more of the center thing. It's really cool. That would have been a good shot. I made Joel move though. 
Andre! Hi. Hello. Andre, what are you doing with TTS? Are you wondering if we have like the TTS voices or something? I've never set that up. Shake your waffle. Hi, Shake. Welcome in. You notice the hospital's literally right there across the way. I've seen this like 10 times. I've never noticed the hospital distance. Oh, yeah. I saw it the second we like got into this little place, this theater. I don't know what this is because it's like it, the boards were just like right there. I'm like, that's probably where we're going, right? Nandre, hope you're having a good night, though. Hi. Hello. I don't want to leave this place because that means the music stops. Oh, that's freaking sick. Look at that building. Look at that. What the hell is even that? The one directly to the right of Joel's head and my camera. Is that the, oh, a cathedral? Mm, yes, very churchy looking. You're lying with your pooch enjoying the drafts, nice. I mean, maybe we get a better view, but I'm pretty sure the second we go on these stairs, this beautiful scenery is gonna be done. The music will be gone and we'll be in shambles. the only moment of bliss in the game. Cool. Now you can just sit here and listen to the music and watch the drafts. That's neat. Oh. Music change. They're eating the leaves, Aaron. We don't have to do this. You know that, right? What's the other option? Go back to Tommy's. Just be done with this whole damn thing. After all we've been through. Everything that I've done. It can't be for nothing. Mm. Yeah, go Fred's is so good. Goodbye, Joe. I found your stream at a pleasant time, it seems. Yeah, we saw the draft. Yeah, dang. I seriously love that you could just sit there yeah. and listen to the drafts or I the know music. You mean well, but there's no halfway with this. Once we're done, we'll go wherever you want. Okay? Well, I ain't leaving without you. Oh. So let's go wrap this up. Oh, Joel. That's so sweet. Brittany, don't say daddy smile. <laughs> <laughs> Papa. <laughs> Caretaker, Joel. I might be back in a bit before bed, but I got a shower and get ready for tomorrow. Sounds good. We'll see you if you're back. And, and if not, have good sleeps. Have a nice showers. Oh. Men. Derogatory. Oh, oh. Sick. Oh, comic book. Good. There's that comic of hers. All right, here we go. The time has come for Daniela's second faster than light test flight. This time, the mission is not exploration, but infiltration. This time, Daniela is going to. Their payload, a 20 duration anti carbon bomb, their crew, Eight of the most capable, suicidal, and dangerous men and women of the last watch. Their mission? 
the annihilation. I'm guessing it reads annihilation of the traveler homeworld. Do you think he died pushing out a pooey? Maybe not. There's blood at the bottom. I don't know. That not, might not have been natural. Died pre outbreak. Oh, that's sad. They just left them. If you played that song for me, I would have it would have driven me wild because I would have known I would have recognized it and I wouldn't have been able to tell you where it was from. Cause it doesn't sound like something that would be in The Last of Us. Did we come from here? We came from here, right? Yeah, everywhere you look, you just it's all families torn apart. Whole damn world seemed to have turned upside down in a blink. Is that after you lost Sarah? Yes, it will. I can't imagine losing someone you love like that. Losing everything that you know. He's opening up. I'm sorry, Joel. That's where we were. That's where we walked across. This is where the drafts went. Wait, how did the drafts get over there? How did the drafts get over there? Did they launch over that? They probably just walked over that. I know, follow the drafts. Okay, if there's a brick on the ground, we know what that means. Zoo. Uh, um, I don't know if something's supposed to be like happening here eventually, but I don't want to like trigger that event. <gasps> oh, okay, cool. Some arrows, a map. Okay. Nice. Nice. Wait. Hold. Actually. Uh. Okay. Let me. Let me. Let, let, let me. Joel's attitude towards Ellie in the game shifted from the, the Ford commercials guy voice to like you're my honey bun sugar plum. <laughs> yes, it did. I'm gonna go check the other tents before I use the tool table. I do, Kafritz. We're gonna finish the game tonight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yep. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh God! Please don't have a cutscene in this tent, though. I would have used the tool table. Oh. Goodies. Sugar plot, sugar, sugar pie, <laughs> sugar pie, sugar pie, I mean, but you know that I love you. Hot. Do 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 do
<gasps> oh, I'm so glad I went in here. Oh, f yeah. Level five? I think. Tool level five. Does anybody know if this is tool level five tent or if I've missed one so far? I'm curious. The tent that comes after the drafts. I don't know. Okay. There are so many soft grass pit patches and Ellie chooses to sit on those tiny uncomfortable rocks. <laughs> Wait, Megan, you're trying to stay for the end of the game? I think that's the last tool. You haven't missed any? Fuck yeah, man. I'm a completionist. Sugar pie, honey bun. You know that I love you. All right, we go. So this might be. Here we go. Last time we're really truly upgrading. Let's look at the big boys. Mm. I don't know how many bullets we have left for this. <sighs> I don't really need a... Hmm. Wait, 75? Oh, fuck. That was expensive. You know what? Fuck it. Sure. We'll only upgrade our rifle. I don't even know how many bullets I have left with it, but. Yeah. That yeah, looks good. I don't think I can upgrade anything else. Maybe, though. Give me two seconds. I'm going to speed run go. through it. Maybe one of the pistols has a small upgrade I can do. Uh, reload speed on this guy? Yeah, 15. I'll take it. I need someone to make a video of Joel singing You're My Honey Bun. Is that the song it's called? You're My Honey Bun? Oh, there Spicy. we go. Here we go. How many? Oh, I have seven shots on the rifle. That's not horrendous. Oopsie. All right. I assume we go this way. I think I've looked at pretty much everything else here. Hey, Joel, I got something for you. What you got? Here. Maria showed this to me, and I, uh, I stole it. I hope you don't mind. <gasps> oh, is it the picture of him and Sarah? It's my thumbnail for my YouTube video that Linia made. <sighs> well, no matter how hard you try, I guess you can't escape your past. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Oh, Joe. At least he's let go of his asshole-ness, you know? That's a stinky bus. Wait, what? Oh, just kidding. Um... Oh, okay, this? Yeah. Castle. <gasps> I 
feeling this is gonna. I don't know. This just seems like this just seems like a place where shit's gonna go sideways, you know. I might be wrong. Also, okay, I thought we met another person before we go see the drafts, but I guess it was just an Ellie and Joel thing. Tunnel. We have to take the tunnels, right? Seems like it. I might slightly remember this time it's gonna be the different. tunnels I just know it what do you mean they're gonna be there the fireflies I'm sure of it do I have a recommendation game like this uh tune like something similar to the last of us I personally don't when I first played the last of us I remember asking and a lot of people suggested uncharted so that had kind of been on my radar since I had ever first played it, but that was like four years ago. But I've had a lot of people say that that's good. I don't know if there's any games now that are similar to The Last of Us vibes. Yeah, The Witcher, Tomb Raider. Okay. I think I sort of remember this area. I think there might be a B L O A T R, but I thought I already passed this area. Like we were already in a tunnel, but I don't remember seeing a bloater in a tunnel. So maybe this might be it, but I could be remembering wrong. Oh, now we can sprint. Oh, oh, you know, there he is. There's the bloater. Get him, Ellie. I mean, I totally was saving Molotovs for that, I guess. Uh, Ellie's character's 14 in the game, I believe. GG's, that went well. Bricks. Oh man, they dropped a bunch of... Uh, fuel that's nice that's interesting actually because you probably would have to try to take the clickers out and then get the fuel so you can attack the bloater but we did the bloater first interesting yes oh goodies hello oh and I could have like used this to my advantage I sped run through that. Yeah, she's four. Yeah, 14 is very young to go through anything that she's already gone through. Hi, Colette. How is your evening? Hi. 
I think there might be phase two though. Yarp. There sure is. Okay. Um. Don't care for that. Wait, I don't have anything like that. So I guess I'll, I'll, guess I'll use it. Oh, you know what? I do remember, I think, this room. I think I remember that room. Mm-hmm. All right, let me make sure there's not just shit lying around that we missed over here. No. Bing, bing, bong. Bing, bing, bong. I definitely had a potty mouth like Ellie when I was 14. Not around adults, but I definitely did around like friends probably. Maybe that's just Australian of me. Maybe that too. You sprained your ankle earlier? <laughs> oh no. Oh, I hope your ankle's doing okay. At least it was just a, a sprain, hopefully. Could I do like a headshot with this? back <laughs> I don't know about this you know what Hold on, let me go in here, because I feel like I remember. Oh, my, um, freaking thing is full. That's cool. Oh, my God. There's so many of them. I know. Let's just keep at it. Goodies, 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 goodies. Nice, nice, nice. Oh, a crowbar. Yes, please. A very hot pink backpack. <gasps> oh, I distinctively remember this hallway, actually. <laughs> that guy looks like he's got fucked up. God, did something fucking pop out, actually? No. Okay. Oh, jeez. <laughs> if I was infected, I'd just overcome it. Aaron, I know you would. Marping, good morning! <laughs> It sounds like someone else, something else is going on over there. This is scary. I don't remember. I don't remember why. I just remember this fucking hallway. Maybe we have to kite something. Probably another bloater. I don't remember. Is that sound just Ellie walking on it? I I also could have handled the first time I handled that little horde of zombies. It's possible that I like sprinted down here and then I just kited them all the entire time. 
That's also possible. So maybe we did get past the only bloater and I just brought it over here. I have no idea. This is bringing me on alert because I'm laughing so hard. Lee, hi Lee. Aaron, maybe you should stop being so funny. I don't know. Bringing people out of their relaxation. Stay back. Oh wait, that's another bloater, yeah? <sighs> okay. Two! Okay. Here's the thing. Fuck. Um, hmm. I could rile them all up, kite them, and molotov them. Option one. Option two, we shiv all of the clickers. And then line the big boys up and molotov them together. God, man, I thought we didn't get him. Cool. Okay. Each shiv has three go or two goes. So technically we have six, right? Or am I a little bit silly with a, with a dash of goofy? You know? Oh, we could easily take all the other clickers out then. Unless if I smash the glass and it alerts the bloaters, no me gusta. You think I'm silly with a dash of goofy, Alex? Okay, there was other knives. Other knives. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, but I need little wrappings, though, in order to make shivs. That's fine. We have six. That's going to be plenty, I think. And maybe they'll drop shit. Surely. Oh, can we go this way? Like... Okay, but those bloaters are just... Okay, I don't think the bloaters can see us. <sighs> okay. 
This little croaker frog, I'm gonna wait till they come over here, maybe. Oh, sneak past all of them? Maybe. So dramatic. You got any goodies? Well, yeah, if the bloaters are just keeping their head down, that would make sense. We can just dip on past them. Scooby, we're doing fantastic. Or shall I say we're dooby and fantastic. He's got a little butt. Oh, look at his little cheeks. He got a little cheek. Cute. Yeah, they're kind of just hanging out. Maybe they're in love. Maybe I shouldn't interrupt. now Ellie, get on up there and drop that crate for me oh fuck. well that's gonna make good noise Now. Surely not. We're gamers. Yeah, bloater L. Oh, little, 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 little. Watch your step. That water looks pretty deep. Hey, that's what we can do once we're done. What's that? You can teach me how to swim. Oh, she wants swimming lessons. You got it. Easy peasy. So wholesome. Uh, this looks like some shit I need to swim under. I... Okay, game. I get it. Ah, uh, yes. I love the underwater the mechanics. The sound, the visual design is really cool. Hold up. I am a fan. And then, yeah, he throws her in like a dad. Oh my god. So true. Hmm. The game needs to respect the game ability. The, the gamer ability. Uh -huh. Hey, 
All right, just stick to the edge. It's shallow over there. Joel would, yeah, if the Joel's in a good mood, he would totally be the dad that throws, you know, their kid in the water, for sure. In a water, in the water. Oh, freezing! Mm. Beautiful. Okay, so we try this, it's locked, and we jump. It won't budge. And another jam door. All right. Give me a foot. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't taught to swim like that either. I went... Get that door open. And I took swimming lessons when I was a kid. That would be terrifying. There's a lot of people that have like you okay? yeah. water trauma because of surprised me. Not knowing how to Man, swim. I can't wait for those things to be wiped out. It's a pretty common one. Ah, <gasps> yes. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, 500%. Yeah, no, she totally pushed Joel in the water. Mm hmm. I think that too. Like from behind when she wasn't expecting it at least twice. Yeah, it's like that scene when Shrek and Fiona are like pushing each other and then Fiona pushes Shrek <laughs> when she's in her ogre form. I know I took lessons, but I don't remember them. Oh, nice. I faintly remember mine. Do you guys remember if you took swim lessons, like the chicken airplane rocket, whatever the heck they called it, where you had to like, and, then, and you would do like chicken or airplane, wait, rocket. I don't remember, chicken, airplane. No, that's not right. But that's what it's called. Or you, oh, yours was chicken airplane soldier. Mm. Monkey airplane soldier. That's so interesting that they all called it different things, but it meant the same thing. I don't think I picked up enough tools. I don't think. What do I have now? If I have over 15, then I think we're probably fine. I'm sorry. Did I, can I not do it? Oh, no, we have 30. Okay. Um, This one, I think we're maxed out on ammo. So I guess we could put something in this. Reload speed, fire rate, capacity. Yeah, we'll do that. Hi, Robin. Hello, welcome in. Hello, hello. Frog airplane soldier. Hmm. I remember my sister taking lessons though. She used to scream, I can't swim while she was swimming. <laughs> oh, your poor sister. At least there are lifeguards and nah, teachers there. Beautiful. I need to go grocery shopping, but I've been so tired lately. Oh, I feel that. I postponed grocery shopping before just because I just kind of didn't feel like it. Oh, but sometimes it feels good to just get out there and get it done. Because then you're like, oh, I don't have to do it then. Again. I did it. Oh, God. Mm, Alfred doesn't know how to swim well. But that's because we weren't great dog parents. And we didn't take him to the water when he was a puppy. So he can swim, but based off of instinct. He doesn't know how to swim comfortably. Even though he's half retriever. There it is. <laughs> and golden retrievers love swimming usually. There's the hospital. 
I don't even remember if we actually go in the hospital. No, no spoilers. My dogs are terrified of me when I'm in the pool, but they'll swim in the ocean. It doesn't make sense. Yeah, I know it doesn't make us like bad dog parents, but I feel like it's definitely something I wish we did when he was a puppy because I feel like it is definitely a little bit more trickier to train an adult dog. But it's still manageable. You could still do it. Wait, what are you doing the VODs? I've been talking to myself in the VODs. It's nice to have you all around. <laughs> I'm sorry, Liv. But it's very good to see you. Oh, I'm sorry. I made him go underwater. Oh, a fishy. I was close. <sighs> okay, so we go that way. Let me check in here first. Remember when you could chat on VODs? Yes, I knew. I, yes, I streamed during then, right? That was still a time era where I was live. Like, I streamed. Yeah. How? And, and then mods would get a notification every time someone would type, I think. Every, every single time there would be someone who typed in a VOD, mods would get notified. It was such a bad idea. Yeah. They ended it years ago. Like, it was a long time ago. Isn't it just, like, leaving a comment? Yeah, kinda. I would say kinda, in a way. But I think you could kind of, like, actively, like, type in a live... Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I think it was kind of like a comment. Vanta Ray! Vanta, how was Minecraft? Hi! We have the alerts muted just because, you know... Last of Us is immersive and all that jazz. So we're actually at the end of the game. We're close to it. Um, so tonight we're going to beat the game. That is our plan. How was your stream? Welcome in. Hi. Hello. Also, Memento, thank you for the one, two, three, two. I think I said thank you, but I know nothing played. Because <clears throat> we had to mute it, but I appreciate the one, two, three, two. Welcome in, Raiders. Hello. Hi, Melissa. Hi, Vanda. How is everyone? The amount of times I did that on Jason's stream this whole time, the mods got notified. Yeah, they got emailed. <laughs> but I think it was there's something maybe... There's something in here? I, th I think it was maybe something mods were kind of just used to, though. Like, that was just a normal thing with moderation was they would get, like, pings that people typed in a VOD. And I feel like most of the time it was harmless. But I don't know. I'm sure it's different per whatever. Nice. You made it. All right, come on. Across. Can we jump off right here? Damn it. I wanted to cannonball. <sighs> Minecraft has me in a chokehold. I feel that. I'm excited to go back to it because obviously I took a tiny Minecraft Blake Blake break because um I was really wanting to do a playthrough of The Last of Us. And I'm one of those people that if I start, like, a story game, it needs to be, like, start to finish. Like, all of my alone streams that don't involve friends, I'm getting the game done. And then I'll move on to whatever. Like, it just seems more organized in my brain that way. But obviously, if we have a night where I'm playing with buddies, then it's different. But... Nice. 
Here we go. But I'm glad you're enjoying Minecraft, though. Yeah, exactly. Like, you want to get invested and really immersed. And one of the best ways to do that is to right. just really continue and you know. play it. So you're familiar with it constantly. Okay, there. I'm on it. Be careful. Okay. I got you. Con is going great. Riley, I'm thinking maybe March now. March may be a good time. Maybe I'm a wet tortilla, but Ellie could just grow up and swim. I ain't making that jump. Stand back. Oh. Oh. Good. I tried. I mean, Ellie's gonna get swimming lessons. Damn ladder broke off the wall. Now what? Uh, I'll figure something out. Uh. I mean, can I just? I I can just easily get up there anyway. Oh, and then do I put it over here and walk across it? I mean, it is a pretty thick ladder. Like, that easily could be do That could be a bridge. That could be a bridge. Um, I have played this game one time in 2019. But it's been four years. So naturally, I forgot pretty much everything. But specifically, I don't remember how the game ends as well. Like, I legitimately don't remember the ending. So from this point onward, I don't really know what happens. Oh, I see. Good idea. Thanks. Oh, yeah. The t it's the tags in my stream. I know people probably... I, there's several tags, so it's easily missable, but... Boy. Let me go ahead and you follow my lead. Okay, right behind you. I don't remember a big river in a tunnel. Alex retired for two minutes. Damn. Okay, come on, jump. You're gonna catch me? I got you. See? You didn't even need me. Let's get the hell off this thing. Content warning stressful drowning. Uh oh. Somebody's drowning. Oh. Am I supposed to be looking around at something? What in the Jurassic Park? Oh my god, just knocked on his noggin. Oh, good. Oh, I have to swim and go get her? What the goddamn hell? Was she stuck in the water? Oh, 
Oh, it's so peaceful. Yeah, drowning is freaking scary, man. Do a little pushy pushy. She's fine. She gulped it for like Hands twenty seconds. Air. She's good. She's not breathing. Hands in the fucking air. Come on. <laughs> Oh my god. I don't remember this at all. Welcome to the Fireflies. <gasps> Marlene! Sorry about that. They didn't know who you were. I didn't know she came home. back? They brought her back. You came all this way. How'd you do it? It was her. How did she get over there so fast? She fought like hell to get here. How did Marlene get here? Maybe it was meant to be. <clears throat> How's she like, how'd you get here so fast? But she's here. She was where we were I lost before we left. I lost the country. I pretty much lost everything. And then you show up and somehow we find you just in time to save her. Maybe it was meant to be. Take me to her. You don't have to worry about her anymore. We'll take care I of her. I worry. Just let me see her, please. You can't. She's being prepped for surgery. The hell you mean surgery? The doctors tell me the cordyceps, the growth inside her, is somehow mutated. Mm. It's eh. why she's immune. Once they remove it, they'll be able to reverse engineer a vaccine. A vaccine. But it grows all over the brain. It does. I don't remember this. On someone else. There is no one else. So you were going to show me where she... <clears throat> Stop. Oh, wow, I don't remember this at all. I get it. But whatever it is you think you're going through right now is nothing to what I have been through. I knew her since she was born. I promised your mother I would look after her. Then why are you letting this happen? Because this isn't about me or even her. There is no other choice here. You know what? I'm going to be honest. Marlene has a point. If that could save the human race, like I get her perspective, but I also understand Joel's dad, like dad perspective for sure. It's a really moral gray area, but I get it. But I totally understand how Joel feels because he just finally got someone in his life again. There's no easy choices here. Yeah. Like, she's not a bad guy. He's not a bad guy. I get it. March him out of here. He tries anything, shoot him. Don't waste this gift, Joel. I don't think she's probably consenting to brain surgery, though. I'm worried about that. That's what I'm worried about. Go on. Move. Excuse me. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I said move. Give me an excuse. Which way? Okay. What the fuck are you doing? Keep walking. I said keep walking. Where are you 
was the operating room. Shooting his pee pee off. I ain't got time for this. Where? Where? Okay, Marley's gonna hear the sh. The far end. The smuggler, he's in here. Wow. Okay. I'm really quickly going to say, because I did not remember the ending, we're not at the end yet, obviously, but my assumption is like he rescues Ellie, gets away, yada, yada. I, I, for some reason thought like, cause I was trying to assume what ends up happening and I was thinking that they get to the hospital, they find them and then like the fireflies get attacked or something or something happens and they have to go find someone else. Not that. So, wow, that was like another, yeah, no spoilers. Yeah, mods take care of it if, if something popped up. No spoilers or anything. Unless it was me talking about it. But, um, but them having to like sacrifice Ellie, I did not remember. So that was like a, whoa. I won't talk about spoilers. cool yeah it is a good time for a reminder that no more spoilers Yeah, I'm sure they could find some scientists that could find some way to, you know, study the cordyceps growth or mutation not in the brain. Surely there's other ways. There was another game recently where I had to get to an elevator. Does anybody remember what game that was? Like, I had a beeline to an elevator. Or something. At Dead of Night? Was it the... Yeah, it might have been. Oh, F word. Oh, God, oh, good damn. I've got him. Move up. That's a no. That's a no! That's a no! Don't lose him! Oh cool, he, we lost him. Oh nasty, he's fucking... Ah, that's a no! Mm-mm-mm! Over 
Ow. That's a no. This is sick music. How do I? Oh, that's what it is. Hey. Shit ass bitch, ass bitch. Mm -mm -mm. What? Again. Mm -mm -mm. That was not good. Two more shots. No, that's. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I fucked up. What in the goddamn hell? I didn't realize there was one on the left still. Why aren't there grenades? I could Don't let him get away. <laughs> Shit. Smugglers in here. AR ammo. Oh, I got an AR? Oh, holy shit. Do they just keep coming? Go. I got you covered. Got it. I see you. <laughs> And the second I try to do that. Oh, Molotovs. I do have Molotovs. I didn't think about the Molotovs. <laughs> Wait, the biologist in me is nitpicking because I'm annoying. Obviously, the plot worked like this for the purpose of telling the story. Wait, okay, wait. Megan was trying to tell you something. What's up? I'm listening. Oops. Oh, a tip to help find lore. Yeah, did I skip a room? Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, I just wasn't sure, like, do I? Right here. Can I like I didn't mean to, uh, 
I meant to sneak up on him. Okay, so we're looking for tape recordings for spicy, juicy lore. I'm alright. I'm Mariah Carey. I have a quick question. Are these guards, like, never ending? Because <laughs> I can't just sit there and wait for them to just, you know, keep coming. I don't really know how they programmed this part of the game because if it's just a never-ending loop of them then like what the hell am i doing you know they're not never-ending okay I see something. Mm -mm. Is that a rag? Turtle duck. Real nice. Solid. Heard footsteps? Me thinks. No, I think I'm just hearing myself. two of them or was he talking to himself I think he was talking to himself okay. we're looking for lore yeah, Yodi, the graphics on the uh, the PS5 remake they did, because they're using the same engine that they did for Last of Us 2, uh, it looks so great. Nothing in here? Okay. Um... Oh, nice. I have not used our AR yet, like at all, really. I mean, I tried that one time. This spray on the AR is like not divine. Are you meant to scope in? 
Eh. Alright, there's a dude. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Nice. Can I... I guess just do this. Get a few more charges on that. So we can grab these. Did you know that it's possible to stealth a lot of this? It's a doozy, but it's possible. Oh, yeah. But... If I have the option to just stealth kill them, then I'll usually try that. To at least, like, get rid of some of them. We haven't passed a tape already, have we? Like, I haven't passed a room where there's a tape in it. I think we can kind of waddle around here. No? Okay, good. I saw that bottle and I thought it was like medicine for us. Or the, you know, currency for that. <gasps> Siren, hello! Hi everyone, we are at the end of... Oh, fuck. That guy got... We're at the end of The Last of Us. Um, welcome in. He chewed five gum. He sure did. This floor might be clear. I don't know. I might be able to waddle around. Without a care in the world. How is your stream, Siren? Welcome in. Um, if it's anyone's first time here, hi, hello. My name is Julia. My pronouns are she, her. Oh, fuck yeah. Um, this is my second playthrough of The Last of Us. My first one was in 2019, and I am very fuzzy, and I don't remember a lot of any of the story. I actually forgot the ending. Um, I guess, spoiler alert, I'm going to talk about what we've learned so far. So if you're not familiar with the series or something, then, I mean, obviously, you know plug your ear holes but um we found out that they want to operate on ellie's brain and i completely forgot that plot point of the story and i don't remember how i mean i slightly remember how it ends sort of just because i have an image in my head but um i don't really remember i can't connect the dots really but yeah how long can it take to prep someone for surgery that they aren't even intended to survive oh i have no idea Wait, Siren, what was your name before? It's, that's a name change? Who are you? Oh my god, Existential Dorito, yeah. The duck lemonade song. And the duck walked up to the lemonade stand. All right, and we're looking for lore right now, too. Apparently, there's some recording tapes in some of these labs. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm Um, is there a recording tape on this floor? I guess I should ask. Or do we need to go over here? No? Okay, good to know. Yeah, I guess you totally just sneak past them all. Like, you, uh... You, uh, basically just throw shit and walk around them. Hi, Dimmy, and welcome in. Hello, hello. Alright, well, I think we've looted and explored everything over here that we can. Oh, 
this way. Stay alert. Oh my god. Oh yeah, thank you, Linnea. I have not played part two, so yeah, definitely be mindful of anything that kind of... That should have killed me. What the hell is that even? Surround him. Okay, go. Take that bottle. <laughs> Worth a shot. Don't lose him. He over there. I got visuals on the smuggler. <laughs> oh! <laughs> He was chasing. Oh. <sighs> I'm exhausted. My brain not working. I'm usually here. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm usually on my PV. Oh, your private account. Pancake. This is my stream one. I'm sorry. Ignore me. My brain's not working like 10 dicks per ago. Oh, you're good. Pancake from Seattle. Nice. Well, I hope that stream was lovely. Also, Dan, thank you for gifting us up to Siren as well. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Okay, we can only hold 90 bullets. Okay, that's great. Oh, it's a little kid's play spot. So are we in like the pediatric wing or something? I don't know if this is a children's hospital. Nice. Okay, well that is our end game. Can't go down there. I assume we're done down here. Yeah, okay, so I think that's where we're going. Oh, I know, Yodi, the opening scene is very intense. That's smart. Any goodies? Nor? All right. Hold on, I'll help. Okay. Isn't this the floor? Didn't they say fourth floor? We just went up like three flights. Oh, that looks like maybe the operating place. Oh, here we go. Popcorn. Nom. April 28th. Marlene was right. 
The girl's infection is like nothing I've ever seen. The cause of her immunity is uncertain. As we've seen in all past cases, the antigenic titers of the patient's cordyceps remain high in both the serum and the cerebrospinal fluid. Blood cultures taken from the patient rapidly grow cordyceps and fungal media in the lab. However, white blood cell lines, including percentages and absolute counts, are completely normal. There is no elevation of pro-inflammatory cytokines, and an MRI of the brain shows no evidence of fungal growth in the limbic regions, which would normally accompany the prodrome of aggression in infected patients. We must find a way to replicate this state under laboratory conditions. We're about to hit a milestone in human history equal to the discovery of penicillin. After years of wandering in circles, we're about to come home, make a difference, and bring the human race back into control of its own destiny. All of our sacrifices and the hundreds of men and women who've bled for this cause, or worse, will not be in vain. Hmm. I get it, but like, we don't want that to happen. Trinket. What's your name? Brian Brian Bryony? Is that a B or an R? Bryony. Stuart Sim Sim. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh. <gasps> okay. What in the final boss is this? Oh, okay. Alright. The game comes down to if humanity deserves another shot. Oh, yeah? That is a good point. Wait, that's not a candy bar I can have? totally does come down to that surgery okay that's a surgery unit so let's oh i thought this was going to be another work table nice nice oh <gasps> that means i can make this hot <gasps> another recording Here we go. Get your popcorn out. It's 5.30 p.m. on April 28th. I just finished speaking, I don't know, more like yelling at our head surgeon. Apparently there's no way to extricate the parasite without eliminating the host. Fancy way of saying we gotta kill the fucking kid. And now they're asking for my go-ahead. Mm. The tests just keep getting harder and harder, don't they? I feel bad for Marlene. Like that's her, that now the pressure is on her. I'm so tired. Like imagine having to make that I'm decision. Exhausted. I just want this to end. So be it. Oh, that's tough. Like, I know she looks like the bad guy right now, but that's such a shitty situation for her to be in. Yeah, she has to make, like, an impossible choice after everything she's even gone through. Um, Siren, have a good lurk. Thank you for lurking, and have good sleeps as well. Yeah, it's her friend's daughter, and she made a promise to her mom. So it's like, well, uh, Ellie's mom. But like, yeah, if it comes down to, you know, saving the human race and whatever, that is, regardless of anything, that is a huge moral decision you gotta make. Okay, I think we've looted everything. Are those the only two tapes that we can do so far? Is 
nothing down here, right? Can't open that drawer. I think that's it. I still wonder how many generations they had to fire up a freaking MR machine. <sighs> yeah. All right, well, let's go. I don't even know if Ellie's gonna be there, but we'll go see Ellie. I'm assuming that's where they're gonna operate on her. Oh, okay, so maybe she's not like in there yet. Okay, well there's more bricks hanging out, so we're gonna have to like deal with them, I think. Any goodies? No. Any goodies? No. This place probably reeks. There's one thing these games prove, it's that there's no clear-cut good or bad people. Everything is nuanced and dependent on the side you see it from. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a cool way to approach storytelling. Okay, so this tent is like... <gasps> Lore. <gasps> okay, this is some intense cursive. So as much as I want to appreciate the cursive, that is some very close together. So I'm going to look at the text. March 15th. We finally crossed the Utah border. In a couple days, we'll be back with the others. Today, the crew was in a much better spirits, or much better spirits. I've been worried about their morale since Greg and Tanya's passing last week. It's good to hear them laughing again. Robin came up to me and said, thanks for watching over us, Marlene. It was a small gesture, but I needed it. March 23rd. Ellie never made it. We arrived at the hospital. There was much celebration, at least from the others. I guess they're happy to see their old friends. We haven't seen some of these guys in over 10 years. After they told me the news, I couldn't eat. I couldn't talk to anyone. I should be grateful just to be alive, but right now I just want to shut my eyes for a bit. March 24th. They look at me and I know what they're thinking. That we're a bunch of incompetent grunts. What was I supposed to do? I thought I was going to die. My men were being hunted by the entire Boston Battalion. I had to get her out of the city. How was I supposed to know the Firefly escorts were already dead? Goddamn it. I panicked. In the end, I healed pretty damn quickly, and my men were more capable than I gave them credit for. More than a handful survived the army's attack. I should have kept her with me. Instead, I handed her off to a couple of smugglers. I failed you, Anna, who's Ellie's mom. I failed all of us. I'm an incompetent grunt. I'm assuming Anna is her mom, right? Anna is Ellie's mom. I can't stand... I can't stand talking to any of them. I don't think I can take the stairs any longer. No way I can stay here. April 28th. One of our scouts was ratioed in. He spotted an older man and a young girl entering the tunnel by the bus terminal. He thinks she might have had red hair, but he's not sure. What if it's her? Stop doing this, Marlene. The recon squad is about to head out. I'm going to join them. Oh, so they, yeah. When you're lost in the darkness, look for the light. She's alive. They're running the test on her now. I can't tell if I'm excited, scared, or just nervous. All I know is my hands won't stop shaking. So that was before she found the news out, clearly. Because she didn't journal that. She did it on a, like a little voice thing. I know, I thought about the ratio when I read ratioed. I hate that. My brain went to memes. The, th the wild thing to remember about this game versus what we believe in our reality is that we don't generally let 14 year olds make this level decision in this world. I feel like 14 is considered almost adult. Yeah, I don't know what, like legality, you know, 
in regards to legality, I don't really know um, how that works. I'm sure it's different by state and etc., but no clue. What am I holding? Oh, is that first aid? Oh, it's first aid. Could probably use that, to be honest. Yeah, that's it. I'm coming, Ellie. I'm coming up. Can I stop looking? As a pediatric nurse, we have something in ethics called Gillick competence, which is a term we use for a minor who is mature and abled enough to consent to their own procedures. Yeah, I remember studying stuff like that when I was doing nursing stuff. I'll remember that. I 100% believe Ellie should always get to say, oh, for sure. I also agree. And uh, yeah, I studied nursing, um, like right out of college. I was a CNA, but I, the job that I had as a CNA only lasted like a couple days. And I, it was like such a gut, like, uh, this is not what I want to, this is not what I want to do. <laughs> like it was, it was not a very organized place, which probably made it not great. But... Yeah. And then I remember after that, I had gotten a call about like a job as a CNA, like at a hospital. And I was like, oh, fuck yeah. But obviously they're not going to hire me because I have zero experience. In a hospital, usually you want like a little, you, you don't usually have your first ever CNA job at a hospital. It's usually nursing home experience and then you can go to a hospital, but. Hmm. I don't have any throwables. Is that guy sensing that I'm there? Okay, hold on. I might grab a brick. Because surely there's a brick around. That's true, yeah. Because the fireflies aren't part of the government. So in, in a real world situation, this would be really messy. Bottle in the hall. You're not blind. Don't say you're blind, but. Oh, nice. You were correct. Okay. I'm going to try something. I think I heard something. Damn it. Yeah, uh, careful. That's not what I wanted to do. Maybe 
Maybe we can find another bottle. I meant to throw the bottle like far to the right and it hit the ceiling, which was not what I was intending. So hold. I know there was a brick over here. Assuming that that'll do the same type of thing. I, mm, I could use a Molotov. I don't think I'd want to waste it. I feel like a Molotov would be really distracting though, which would be better. We could kind of just sprint over here. I could have sworn. In here, maybe? Oh, here. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Um, hmm. All right, I'm gonna really quickly run down to the r in here. Anything? Did you see the message on the eye thing yet? The eye thing? I don't think so. What's the eye thing? I don't know if I passed it. It was a cute little Easter egg type thing. Oh uh, yeah, no, I don't think I saw it. What the heck? All right, well, I guess we could try the Molotov. To be honest, didn't mean to catch him on fire. Spread out. It's a dream. I was trying to distract them, not actually light him on fire. I meant to throw it like over to the right to distract them all, so they all move over there. Yeah, same. That was the quietest. Gotcha. Ah, uh, shit. Bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing. What was it? Not a damn thing. There's a brick. Oh. That's gotta be him. S word. Yeah, we were kind of cornered there. I wonder if it auto saved after we knocked that guy, though. Oh. Oh, kinda. 
We didn't. We literally went back like 60 seconds, which is nice. Yeah, that man did not miss a shot. You miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Surely. There you are. I'm gonna do something wild, y'all. Fireflies. Oh my god, I'm sorry. We need to heal. Holy good lord. It's good voice acting. You son of a bitch. I thought he was going to say sucker. Now he's got to help them fly. Now we can explore. Anything? He ain't gonna be the last of us two. Mm -mm. No, sir. Jill committing more, more war crimes than the entirety of Fedra in 15 minutes time span. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Liv, I hope you get good sleep. That was, in fact, the last of you. Damn. <laughs> Linnea, that was one of your best. I think we uh, got everything. Uh, does anyone know if there's like a tape recording in this area or no? I think this is it, right? We look pretty covered. To me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is there candy in here? Surely not. There might be one more tape recorder. Oh, snacks. The last one we heard was Marlene's. Is there supposed to be one after Marlene's? There's one more somewhere. Okay. And it should be here, right? In this area, probably. Let's see if anything 
things lighten up. Sometimes having the flashlight off is nice because then it'll just glow. Uh, Megan, sure. Are we not close to it? Is it like behind us in an older room? Clearly, I feel like I've searched everything here. Oh, there's another tape recording Marlene did. Yeah, I mean, we've cleared everything, so we could just run to it. I'm assuming it's back here because I've looked everywhere else. Tabletop and a patient room. Okay, those weren't patient rooms, right? So it's going to be here. There were patient rooms over here. Okay, one of them was in there in this operating spot. And then... This is a patient room, I would assume. Nothing here. Nothing here. Brick. Joel can tabletop me in a patient room? Catherine. Well, those were all the patient rooms. Hello? I just want to hear Marlene's voice. sworn we've checked everything we're sure it's in a patient room here so did i miss it i want pedro pascal to according my steps what the fuck No, that was open before. It's just because we died. Like the door reset, maybe? Yeah, these are just the patient rooms and nothing, nothing's in here. I feel like surely it would be this one. I want the lights on. Internet says it's the first right door in the final hallway to Ellie's ER. Oh, Brit, so are we not there? In the final hallway. Hold. Wait, which is this one? That's an elevator. Can't go in there. Patient room? No, this is like a thing. No. It's a vivid memory. So... First right door in the final hallway. I don't know where the final hallway stops or starts. So we, so would it be in here? I probably need to go through these two doors before we get the final one. 
Because that looks like a final hallway. I swear to H, I feel like I've t t searched everything. I should buy me some time. You literally killed everybody. You've got all the time you need. That was unnecessary. This is really creepy. Okay, yeah, this makes sense. I would have checked this anyway, so that's perfect. Cool. Here we go. More lore. Get your popcorn out. Hey, Anna. It's been a while since we spoke. I, uh, I just gave the okay to proceed with the surgery. Mm. I really doubt I had much of a choice. Asking you is more of a formality. I need you to know that I've kept my promise all these years. Despite everything that I was in charge of, I looked after her. I would have done anything for her, and at times I... Here's a chance to save us. All of us. This is what we were after. What you were after. They asked me to kill the smuggler. I'm not about to kill the one man in this facility that might understand the weight of this choice. Mm. Maybe he can forgive me. Oh, I miss you, Anna. Your daughter will be with you soon. Okay, so Anna's no longer with us. I wasn't sure if Anna was like, I mean, not that I would assume she's probably happy and well somewhere, but I wasn't sure if she was dead. Well, that might sway Marlene to being okay with it anyway, because it's not like she's needing to reunite Anna and Ellie. No, yeah, Anna is Ellie's mom for sure. Oh, did she die at childbirth? Oh, I didn't know about that. Okay, so if we have, um, just a preemptive before I even talk about this, please do not talk about the show, um, in detail or comparison. But I will talk because it hasn't have it has not happened yet in the show. Um, they've announced that they're going to have Anna be in the show for probably some lore episode because obviously she's passed. Um, I'm assuming the lore episode will probably be about like a flashback of Marlene and Anna. Um, okay, Britt. Um, there's going to be a flashback of like probably Marlene and Anna having this conversation. No, that's not going to make sense. Oh, well, no, it is. No, it is. I bet you it's going to be actually it might be kind of a, like a bit of a, I mean, the whole entire season is there's lots of trauma in it, but this is going to be like a birth thing. Maybe or before. I I don't know. It's possible they could show like the potential birth scene of that if that's how Anna died. That would be really heavy. But uh, the cool thing is the person who's going to be playing Anna is played by the girl uh, Ashley who plays Ellie. So Ellie in this game is going to be playing IRL uh, Ellie's mom, which is so cool. I'm so excited. But, oh my God, excuse me. So I have a letter in my backpack that's. Cute. Okay. We listened to that, though. They're looking for the fireflies. They've all left. I'm dead. Or I will be soon. We've listened to that. Oh, 
Oh, it's in Ellie's backpack? How the hell do I do that? Is it in here? Oh, coming up. Oh, okay. All right, all right. I'm sure I'll get to it. I scour the place up and down. Y'all know how I play. But I guess maybe it wouldn't be obvious to look into her backpack. I don't know. Cool. Okay. Nothing over here? No. Lots of cutscenes, very little gameplay. I had to mention it now. That, that makes sense. <gasps> oh. I know this is like a I should hurry moment, but I know it doesn't technically really matter. Here we go. Sweet Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? Someone want to say something? Checking my surroundings. It's a staring contest. This is not what I expected. I won't let you take her. <laughs> this is our future. Think of all step. the lives we'll save. Ah. Don't come any closer. I mean it. That's how I sleep sometimes in my bed. Yeah. That's a no. That's a no. That's literally how dogs look at you when you talk to them anyway. They're like, okay, sorry. That's a no. Drop it. That's a no. That's a no, no. That's a no. <laughs> and they do a little pee because they're nervous. And they're like, I'm sorry. I chewed up the entire fucking pillow. Okay. We have time here because they're just going to hang. So I do kind of want to like look a little bit. I mean, not a little bit, like quickly. But I just want to like admire before we just pick her up. Because I'm assuming that's what we have to do. I have I have a dog, yes. She looks so peaceful. Did they give her breathing animation? I honestly can't tell. I don't think they did. Shit. 
sorry to ruin the moment, but where is Ellie's backpack? Or do we, is that coming way up later? Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not like missing it. It's going to be an obvious thing, right? Yeah, that is pretty uh, not great to take a... Oh, do they not do anything? No, no, let go of her. Let go of her. No. No. It looked like they were being kind of nice, but now we know what the cutscene is. That's cool. You know, the devs put a lot of work into the dev scenes. You might as well. Like it's not. Easy to die. Marlene is gonna be here, maybe? Someone's someone's gonna be here. Surely. Come on. Come on. Oh. You can't oh. save her. Okay. Even if you get her out of here, then what? I don't remember what happens. I feel like she lets us. Pack of clickers. That is if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. <laughs> it ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. I faintly remember the scene, but I don't. Look. You can still do the right thing here. She won't feel anything. This isn't a flashback? Did he get her? Uh, what the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. What happened? So did Marlene make... Let him make a choice? We found the fireflies. No memory. Turns or does she? A whole lot more like you, Ellie. People that are immune. There's dozens, actually. Oh, I forgot about that. Not a damn bit of good, neither. Oh, that's right. They've actually. They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. Wait, what do you mean they stopped looking for a cure? He, oh, he's lying. He's lying, isn't he? Oh, wow, I forgot that. Oh, oh my God, I forgot that. Wait. Let me go. Please. You just come after her. Damn. Touche though, he she would. Wow. How the flip did I forget that?
Now I know why y'all are like, you forgot how it ends? I don't know! Well... Looks like we're walking. Should be a straight shot through here. Oh, we're playing as Ellie? Oh, so we can look at her backpack now, right? It's actually kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. Okay. So this was what I was talking about. The only thing I remember from the ending is them, like, walking. Like, this bit. This is all I remember. Switchblade. Very cool. Note from mom. Okay, so this was probably right before. Does she have a flashlight? No, I don't know. Okay, I think we can probably read this. Ellie, I'm going to share a secret with you. I'm not a big fan of kids and I hate babies. And yet I'm staring at you and I'm just awestruck. Oh, so how soon after childbirth did she die? You're not even a day old, and holding you is the most incredible thing I've done in my life. A life that is about to get a little short. Does she get sick? Was she infected after she gave birth? Marlene will look after you. There's no one in this world I trust more than her. When the time comes, she'll tell you all about me. Don't give her too much of a hard time. Try not to be stu as stubborn as me. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty messed up world. It won't be easy. The thing you always have to remember is that life is worth living. Find your purpose and fight for it. Oh, I see so much strength in you. I know you'll turn out to be the woman you're meant to be. Forever your loving mother, Anna. Make me proud. Let me play. That's cool. Oh, we get keep Sam's robot. Sad. <laughs> okay, pun time. What did the triangle say to the circle? You're pointless. I won't use that every time. That's a very loud alert. What did the cannibal get when he showed up to the party late? A cold shoulder. <laughs> uh, I heard two peanuts walked into a park. One was assaulted. Boiled egg in the morning is really hard to beat. <laughs> I'm reading a book on anti-gravity and it's impossible to put down. It's not that the guy didn't know how to juggle. He just didn't have the balls to do it. <laughs> I'm glad I know sign language because... It's become quite handy. Nice. When a clock is hungry, it goes back and forth. It goes back for seconds. Clever. Hmm. Oops. We're good. We're reading jokes. We're looking at Ellie's backpack because we're playing as Ellie right now. I used to be addicted to soap, but I'm clean now. Why did the scarecrow get a promotion? He was outstanding in his field. What does the pirate say while eating sushi? Ahoy, pass me some soy. I tried to catch some fog earlier. I missed. <laughs> Baker's trade bread recipes on a need-to-know basis. Nice. Moon rock tastes better than an earthy rock because it's meteor. A backwards poet writes in verse. 3.14% of sailors are pirates. <laughs> Some of these I've never heard before. I stayed up all night wondering where the sun went. Then it dawned on me. Nice. All right, last one. Uh, 
It doesn't matter how much you push the envelope, it'll still be stationary. What did the Confederate soldier use to eat off of? A civil civilware. <laughs> what did they use to drink with? Dixie cups. Wait, what did they use? What did they use to drink with? Dixie cups. I don't understand. Well, Why don't get that one? It's a Mason Dixie line. Hmm. I still don't get it. Oh, it's an extension of the previous joke. Oh, I thought it was its own separate thing. I'm like, what? A moon rock tastes better than an earthy rock because it's meteor. All right, repeat it. Uh, what did the mermaid wear to her math class? An algebra. Nice. What is the leading cause of divor divorce and long-term marriages? A stalemate. <laughs> I walked into my sister's room and stripped on and tripped on a bra. It was a booby trap. Nice. A book just fell on my head. I only have my shelf to blame. <laughs> okay. Riley's Firefly Pendant. Nice. I feel like maybe we read that as Joel. I don't remember. <sighs> oh, we. That looks like something that would be in my print shop. Actually, it looks like one of the ones I recently uploaded, kind of, but like maybe more misty. Yes, I'm, prom I'm promoting my prints if you guys want pretty pictures in your house that I took. <laughs> yeah, I know I can use photo mode. I don't really mind too much to use it because I would spend too much time using it. But this is really pretty. Look at the burbs. Kanye lives somewhere over there. What? I know. So pretty. Oh, this is a really pretty video. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Now watch your head going through. <sighs> Got it. Feeling my age now. <laughs> Same. Goodbye, pretty view. It's probably one of I the best ones. I never told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. Oh. I think uh, I think the two of you would have been would have been good friends. I think you really would have liked. Her. I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. I wonder if she senses she's been lied to. Probably. <gasps> nice. The travelers have been crippled for now. Danielle's daring plan and her seemingly miraculous escape back home has made her galvan galvanizing figurehead to the last watch. Captain Ryan's sacrifice has made him a martyr. Martyr. How do you pronounce that? I don't know how you pronounce it. Martyr. Marty, martyr. Martyr. An illusion Daniela won't dispel. But how long can she keep what really happened a secret? Martyr. 
Martyr. Thank you. Martyr. It's someone who dies heroically for a cause. What could have been it which could have been Ellie? Kinda. Right? Technically? I know the parallels in this game, right? Mm hmm There's a lot of them. Black butterflies. All these flowers, these wildflowers, so pretty. Wow. Like even just like the trees. So pretty, so pretty, so pretty. Oh. Right down there. It's a little bit further now. They're going back to Tommy, right? Like that was the the plan kinda. This is where the dam's at. Hello? Here, I got you. Give me your hand. All right, come on. Hey, wait. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. And she got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. Well, you don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You'll swatch. You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. I get why he lied, but I don't think he needed to. I mean, the reason why he lied is because, I mean, Ellie wanted to be the change. She wanted to be the hero and be important. And she knew that she could, which she could have potentially if she sacrificed herself and everything. But they didn't do that to Ellie without consent. They just took her and put her under because she, unless maybe she did remember and maybe she's like testing Joel. Like maybe they did kind of tell her, hey, we're putting you down. I don't know. Like maybe she full consented. I have no freaking clue. And then maybe when, and, and, and please don't let me know if it comes in The Last of Us 2 because it probably, there's probably clarification in the second game. So like maybe she did full consent to being operated on 
And she's like, all right, yeah, I'm here. Let's just do it. But, and then maybe that's why, like, right as soon as she wakes up, she's like, what's going on? And then he immediately starts, like, lying, kind of. So maybe she's just, like, testing him. I don't know. But. I don't know. She did almost drown. Yeah, so maybe they had to, like, resuscitate her and then maybe just, like, put her under right away. I... Yeah, I'm curious what's going through Joel's mind, too. Like, choosing to make that choice and walking away from that is such a impulsive thing to do. So I wonder, like, what he's thinking. And that's probably also impacting and fogging his choice to tell the truth. Like, he's probably going through so much in his head right now that he's finding it easier to lie to her than it is to speak the truth and also think about what he just did. That's probably why he's choosing to do that. Just doesn't make it okay. At apocalyptic times, someone being killed and dissected at a chance for survival would be like, oh, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, it's... When you're going through an apocalyptic like pandemic like that, what what is perceived as good moral definitely gets shifted a bit so it's it's different yeah alex exactly good morals are probably whatever had the highest chance to save the most people mm -hmm. it's all fun and games until it's your people mm -hmm. the ending completely faded out for me i did not remember the ending of this game which is wild because it's a pretty in intense and important ending i don't know why i forgot it completely i feel like maybe i forgot it because it was like literally the last like five minutes of the game is such an important like and then it's done so maybe because i never really got to digest it fully i don't know i'm trying to think of why that didn't stick with me but i'm also thinking this remember how joel was telling ellie about the lie there's other people like you, blah, blah, blah. And my response in that moment was, well, then why? Like, what do you mean? Like, I believed Joel for a second until I looked over and you're like, oh, yeah, he's lying. I'm like, oh, yeah, wait, is he lying? So I probably perceived it that way, too, when I played it for the first time. So with that in my mind, thinking, oh, is there more? Oh, was Joel lying? Oh, and then, and then not really being 100% by that end scene where... She's like, tell me the truth about the fireflies. And he's like, I did. Because that already kind of made my brain like, huh? Maybe that's why it didn't stick. I don't even know. I'm really trying to justify what the hell my brain did with that information. Yeah, people who are in Joel's situation, most people would do what he did acting out of love. And if people were in the doctor's situation, they would do what they were trying to do, which is save the human race. Oh, for sure. I think that makes sense. We're fed too much to like superhero media, this idea that there is absolute heroes and absolute villains. I love these games because they feel so real. Yeah, no one is truly bad or good. Everyone is just a person doing their best. Yep. I, I, Linia, I think, brought that up earlier too. Like, this is a way of storytelling where you as the player kind of get to decide what you think the right moral compass is in that regard. But it's it's very gray area. They both Both sides can make sense. I get the doctor's perspectives, I get Joel's perspective, but ultimately it should also just be Ellie's choice as well, but it's, yeah, it's all over the place. Mortal Kombat video game image used courtesy to Warner Bros. Thank you, Warner Brothers.